here today just talking about my mother, um, Mary Jennings, um, Nee Carroll, a little bit about her early life and her work as a nurse training in London and working in London and then working as a district midwife here in Banslow. She had a very interesting life and it was only after she died really that we realised a lot of what she had done. Yeah, and I suppose for us really the first thing was to just realise she was an only child. We were privileged, I suppose, to have grown up in a family of six and uh, we've plenty of goings and comings and so on where she didn't have that privilege. She just was an only child. And then unfortunately in her case, um, her mum died um, when she was quite young, when she was 17 and her dad had died when she was just nine. Um, I suppose when we look back and we see it was a, a tough, early few years, uh, early part of her life. Yeah, yeah. She, she must have had great resilience to get through all that and then to go to England and to train, went over on her own. Mm -hmm. I don't believe she knew anybody over there because she stayed in digs when she went over. Yeah. She probably went after her intercert. I don't think she waited until leaving at that particular time. But even at that, that stage, that would have been nearly a privilege to most people would have probably left after primary John, school at that that's stage. That's what I was yeah, just yeah. going to say. So she was very few people did. Yeah, very few uh, moved yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. think uh, free education was introduced until the sixties. Yeah, she she had a tough time. I'd say and it, she enjoyed England though, but it was tough working there during the war. I certainly know she told us a lot of stories about the bombs that had the fire sirens gone off at night, and several times she described trying to bring. <coughs> You know, casualties yeah, down right. to the injury people, yeah. down to bring and, them to safety. Uh, yeah. yeah. Her low light, I suppose, yeah. was when she was involved herself. She was hit by shrapnel or something from a, a bomb when the hospital was bombed. I think she spent about two months in hospital at that particular time. She often referred to it when Yeah, we had we, um, we have a little discharge yeah. summary here. Do you see this that when she was discharged from the hospital? Park Hospital in London, that was in nineteen forty. So wow. it was probably the time of the yeah. The bombings there. And is there another then one a, there? A, a picture of her a, on the paper. Yeah. Yeah. See this nurse, nurse's nurse was the headline. One yeah. of the injured when the London hospital was bombed, when nurse Mary Carl seen here a cheery patient in the hands of a fellow nurse. Okay. That's a nice little yeah. picture, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it lovely? Yeah, so. She's happy looking at yeah, so she yeah. Stayed, yeah, but she stayed on there, I yeah. think, and um, then she worked in the community after that. And she moved to work in several different hospitals. hospitals she yeah. progressed as she went along, doing her different yeah. exams through the years and that. Yeah. And, and uh, one thing that she was very proud of, even though she never drove in Ireland, as far as we know, she drove an ambulance. Yeah, and we have, um, look, at, yeah. we have her driver's license there, this yeah. little red one. Oh, she was an ambulance driver as well, was she? No, no, just, no she just drove, I don't know yeah, what yeah. she drove up there, but to get around when she was working in the community. Yeah, here by license to drive motor vehicles of Group 1. Yeah. So that was, um, so, that was some achievement. That was interesting, wasn't that it? That was some achievement yeah. back then. So. What, that was yeah. in Watford, I remember. When so. she returned home, I never remember her driving in there. She didn't no. Then I suppose when she returned home, then she started working here in the community. Yeah, so and um, when she returned, then she took up a post as a district nurse, isn't that right? District midwife, midwife yeah, 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 yeah. So she, she yeah, this is her bag, and <coughs> I think that that was the bag there that we never yeah. sort of um, looked at. Yeah, never really. Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah. We never, never allowed to go near it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't really knew that it existed, but never saw the inside of it. Yeah. yeah. Never, I never realised all that was in it and all the all the stuff she had until after she died. Mm. Yeah. Well, we as young lads, we'd love to have looked into. We weren't allowed. We knew yeah. it was there. Yeah. <laughs> it was forbidden. To, I think she might so. have worked for about five years in the the district here, alongside the G GP yeah. Dr. Dr. Coyne. Coyne. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Maura, you were one yeah. of her early um, deliveries, weren't you? I was her second. Second, yeah. Second yeah. delivery, yeah. Yeah, because we we. Found a lot of her <coughs> records, and um, mm. we we know that her first yeah. first delivery was. I know my mother always spoke about her kindness and respect she had. Mm. You know, back then, hard times. Yeah. You know, when you think back, seventy three years. Most of her mobility was by bicycle at that particular time, and she often spent maybe two days away from the house or from the family at that particular time which was a great achievement in those yeah. years, I think, you know, to leave your husband and the family at home and that. Just show their dedication to her work. That's, yeah. yeah. I remember talking about Hackney drivers as well, they should come, I suppose, if she'd go a distance, because sometimes she, she did travel a bit of a distance to um, to the deliveries. Yeah, and the region of 78 mile was normal enough that time to travel for. 
the area she was coming yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it just mm -hmm. all depends where her doctor, who her doctor's patients were. She mm -hmm. did mostly those mm -hmm. who she worked under. Yeah. And I suppose we were fascinated with the meticulous detail that she had um, in her records. Gave very accurate recordings of the everything. I suppose that would appear now in the maternity ward in the hospital and she has it and uh, Maura was able to find all the information that she needed. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well it's yes. nice to see your, your date of birth mm -hmm. and your delivery and the times back then. Yeah, you yeah know. which is also professional, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing there that shouldn't be there, like there's no, no yeah. comments or, you know, anything yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't you know, be. When you actually look strictly. at uh, the book there with your my mother's name yeah. and the time yes and know, the time she yeah, was called and, yes you know, yes yeah, yeah. 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 but she, that was one thing about her. she had the most phenomenal memory and like she was like we, we used to say she like google before google was invented oh, yeah. definitely definitely we'd, we'd she had a great mind she remembered mm. everything she was taught um i mean some of us i went into medicine two of my brothers were nursing but she had more interest in you know our studies and what we were doing you know at certain stages and she'd remember everything mm -hmm. and she remembered all her anatomy and you know lectures and she could quote you know famous um tutors that she yes, had over in England. Yeah. yeah yeah i suppose after she after she gave up the work she devoted her life really to raising family didn't she and she did there's yes, six yes. of us so yes but yeah. well, we just passed back to an aunt oh um, yeah We'd always take our time when we'd come in beside Jennings's because Mary Jennings had come out, she'd have oranges or sweets, biscuits. But we'd always make sure to take our time. Right, so we make sure she sees us. Yeah. <laughs> and she she very much based herself here. She wasn't somebody to ever to go, you know, to be going yeah. places. You know, people came to her and she stayed here and but I think education was her. You know, she's so keen that everybody get educated. It was and always a rambling house, this house was back through the years, let's say, mm -hmm. like in the 30s and 40s. It it was, continued yeah. until maybe the 70s and that. We used to have three or four neighbours come mm -hmm. maybe Every three day. times a week during week, the day, yeah. and then yeah. you had people come, come at night. One come tea in the morning, mm -hmm. and somebody else would come in the evening, yeah, and then at yeah. night. And and she always had this idea that <coughs> men needed to be fed and well fed. And she yes. always put down extra just in case mm -hmm. someone might call. Um, and she was and she was a traditional cook, you know, she'd mm -hmm. sort of, I suppose, learned Basically, in, yeah. in stuff mm -hmm. in England and, and basics and had a good, you know, her kitchen would have been well stocked. Yeah. And I suppose one thing she prided herself on, she followed up that she, somebody told her at some point she was entitled to a small pension from her time in the UK, so it was very minimal, but she made sure that she got it was. Yes. And she'd keep it for a while because it came by check and she'd wait until the <laughs> sterling improved or. <laughs> Whatever. So she, 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 she was a very good defense. manager. She was a very good manager. She, she bought the paper weekly to see the sterling rates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose another thing, she'd the uh, crossword. She'd uh, oh, do yeah, the, the crossword. crossword and then she'd, um, particularly um, your husband, Liam, she kind of had a lot of faith in him that if she was stuck in a few clues. Yeah, she'd she'd, she'd ring us up to yeah. see, yeah. yeah. Would yeah. Match. Mm. yeah. That yeah. was before yeah. you could Google stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she lived in this house from once she got married until she died and she never went anywhere except maybe the hospital on one or two occasions. But she enjoyed her life and she reading was one of her big things as well and then politics. So she was very happy. Yeah, very content. And you know, she had she had her she had health issues but she sort of got on with it really and it was only really in her last year that she was sort of feeble wasn't it um, yeah yeah she, she did she was unfortunate to lose her sight um, right. from that macular degeneration but she made the most of it yeah she, sort well, she of, got her leg amputated a very sad ending really for mm -hmm. her because the one thing she as a as a nurse she always said she hated was that when she'd be at an amputation and then she had to have an amputation herself she was in her 91st year, year yeah. yeah so she died in 2013 April, April 2013. 2013 but she was planning at the time about how she was going to Work with the pieces and oh, yeah, she was yeah, going yeah. to. Yeah, when, when yeah. she made up her mind, yeah. she was going to, going to go for it. She, said she, was to prepared, it. she yeah. said she was prepared to go to a nursing home if all went to all. You know, she wasn't able to, to leave it to home or that. Yeah. She was yeah. quite willing. She was but quite after happy. her surgery, she was in good form. Like it was kind of a surprise. Yeah, yeah. But she then, did. She died when she because she'd been over the. She was over the yeah. surgery, and then if you right. remember, or, um, Martin was out in. 
Australia went out to visit his mm-hmm. children out there, That's right. and he came back on a he visited on Sunday. Saturday evening, yes. and he came down himself. And Mary came down to see her on a Sunday, and she died on Monday morning, mm-hmm. just suddenly, you know, sort of, yeah. sort of unexpectedly. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Right, so she was living, right. just right. living to see him, probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 just wait. Just find yeah. out yeah. how the children, yeah. grandchildren were in Australia. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. God rest her. She'll be nearly. she be ten years dead next April. But, so, I mean, yeah. she's still. You know, very much part of all our lives, and I think fondly remembered by everybody. And certainly, her her grandchildren that knew her, I mean, refer to her so often. And you know, if if Granny was here, or Granny do this or whatever. And um, this is a great opportunity, I suppose, to honour her her life and um, her dedication to nursing and to midwifery. And she would be so proud of this herself. <laughs> <laughs>